It's not just radio, it's Rockland World Radio. RocklandWorldRadio.com Welcome to Dialogues with Dan, heard on Tuesday evenings at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be sure to check out the archives for past programs located off the menu bar. And now the host of Dialogues with Dan, Mr. Dan Winter. Thanks, Richard. Hi, everyone. I'm glad you could join us. We're starting a little early this week, 5.37 p.m. And tonight, I have a live guest. I'm speaking with Jim Winans from Nyack, New York, about art and about all about art and expression, people expressing themselves. I'd like to introduce Jim Winans. Hi, Hi, Jim. How you doing, Dan? Good. Nice to, nice nice to have you. Oh, our pleasure. Yeah, maybe we could start, Jim, by you telling us about your background and about what art means to you. What art means to me? Okay, yes. That's a good question. <laughs> well, for me, it's all about perception. My background in art is not... Uh, I didn't. I didn't go to college for art. I went to school for photography. So all anything I've learned about, and I'm a painter, is purely been self-taught. As far as painting goes, I never took a painting class. I've oh. taken drawing extensively, yes. like anatomy and all that tra- kind of training, which I've done at the Art Students League. So basically, I'm just a painter. Yes, <laughs> and I gather over the years, your skill level or talent. Has increased. Uh, well, my talent is an arbitrary word for oh, me right. because I think that if anybody wants to just make pictures, they'll do so in any manner. If like, you know, it becomes yeah. like a matter of your handwriting. You know, if you can write, you can draw, and drawing is at the base of all that. You know, right. Starting back to the caveman. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you had said. And the caveman uh, was the original artist. Yes. You know, and he started just by, with uh, whatever he found, a stick of charcoal from the fire or a lump of uh, gypsum, hematite yes. they used, and it was all about their image making, yes. which is before language. So that was the beginning of, art is the beginning of language, visual art. Right. Because you know, they would draw symbols, and then they would come up with sounds for them. So, yes. So it begins back there for right. me. You know. And what do you think about cavemen and their art? Did you notice, like, a change over years, well, if generations? You, if, you, yeah, if you study cave art, you'll see that they go from very rudimentary stick figures for people, you know, a, a line with two lines, two lines here and a head, and you have a human being. You know? yeah. And then if you notice later on, they start to stylize their animals. You know, they start putting them in front of each other. So you have perspective, basically you have sectional perspectives because one animal is behind the other. So that gives depth. You know, they started thinking yes. of all these things. And the back before even any written language of any sort. So the, 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 the thought on that is, by most people, is that that language started there in the beginning with images. Yes. Right? So images become symbols, and then symbols become sounds, and people spot, start to talk. Major technological advance. <laughs> right, yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, Jim, could you speak about the different mediums of art over the years, and maybe how they've changed? Uh, yeah, they've changed a lot. Going back to the caveman, he just used basic minerals or carbon. And then there was fresco painting, which is a painting on limestone wall with just water pigments, and it sinks in and becomes part of the wall, so on and so forth. What I work with is oil paint, and that comes from Flanders originally. Before that, they used egg tempera, which was egg yolk and pigment on, on smooth panels. And then they found drying oils, like linseed oil is a drying oil. And how a linseed oil works is that it 
it's one thing in its liquid form, and when exposed to oxygen, it changes molecularly into something else. So it hardens. You can't take linseed oil and loosen it back up like watercolor. It becomes permanent. Right. So did the egg yolk. But what they found with the oil paint is that it's much more translucent. It stayed wet longer so you could work it. So it changed the whole way that you think about doing a painting. Yes. You know, now you have, you know, you have um, uh, acrylic emulsions and, you know, alkyd mediums and blah, 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 blah. You know? Yes. Yeah. But you prefer the I work basics, in, right? I, I like to work in a traditional sense, oil paint on panels, which is the, they call the old Flemish technique. Oh, yeah, yes. Which is very carefully laid out because they just went from using the egg medium, which dries very fast, to the oil. And so it's, it's worked on transparent layers and built up very carefully. Everything's planned out beforehand with a drawing and whatnot. Yes. Yeah. Later techniques, you know, more looser techniques came when they started using canvas, which happened in Venice. Oh, did it? Well, they had, what, you know, Venice is a shipping port, so you have canvas yeah. you know, for ship sails in yeah. large sizes, which can be painted on, rolled up, transported. You know, so they got away from the panel, but that changed the style because a canvas has texture. So instead right. of using really fine sable brushes, they started using bristle brushes, you know, because you gotta work yes. it, more paint, more texture. I see. And then you start getting atmospheric effects, and you know, I could go on for hours about yeah. that. <laughs> but would you agree that in a sense, art hasn't changed? The ideas and people's, I mean, rudimentary, like inner selves. You mean motivation, right? Yes. What motivated the caveman? Was it boredom? He's sitting in his cave, there's no cable TV or nothing yes. like that. No, and you have the light of a fire, so he's putting images on a wall. This is a good question, I don't know. No one knows really yes. what motivated them to do it. Was it religion? You know, sure. Some people think that they painted the animals on the walls because they thought it would bring the animals to them, oh. kind of like magic. You know, they would evoke them, yeah. you know, but no one knows for sure. Yeah. Yes, mm. and maybe you could share how you've used your art and like where do you do this? Oh, I, I work out of the Garneville Art Center in Garneville, Garneville, New York, <laughs> which is uh, it's a uh, 19th century textile mill. It was converted into an art center some years back. I was, I'm a resident uh, artist there. Yes, yeah. and at that that place, there's many different forms of art. Yeah, there's photographers there and sculptors and, and painters and yes, uh, instrument makers and whatnot. It's a whole art community. Yes. Yeah. I saw yeah. glass blowing, furniture making. Fur carpentry, furniture making, and businesses too. There's a uh, air conditioning and heating guy there. You know, oh, yeah. I see. <laughs> yeah, but mostly it's an art center. Yes, yeah. and it's very... Um, it's not polished, it's very... It was built in 1830-something, I believe, yeah. by the Garner brothers, thus Garnerville. Yes. And, yeah, it's, it's, it's like from the days of Dickens, really, when you walk yeah. around the place. <laughs> and every so often, they have art exhibits? Yes. Well, they had the, the flood with Irene, which kind of did a little damage to the place, but uh, now they're rebuilding another art center. So if anybody that's interested in that can can go on their site, which is uh, www.gardaartcenter.org. Yes. And Garda Art Center. Gaga was... That was, yeah, that was Garneville Gallery, but that's that got destroyed in the... Uh, oh, In Tyrene, yeah. The flood and, knocked the building oh, down. did it? Yeah, but they're in the rebuilding phase now. Yes. And they're going to open another, using another building, they're opening the Garner Arts Center, which is in progress right now. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. And what's it called now? Garner Arts Center. Oh, yeah. it is. Yeah. And it's located? It's in Garnerville, New York, which is on Railroad Avenue. Yes. Yeah. It's like West Havistra, right there. Right. Yeah. And I noticed they do video art there also. There's people and doing video art. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
and really any art you could think of that's going on. The animal dog training. Uh, yes, the dog trainer was yes. there. <laughs> yeah, that's... I, I thought uh, about them. Poetry and what have you. Yeah, yoga. Yes, <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. And how long have you been there? I've been there about 10 years now. Yes. Yeah. And other than the Gornerville Center, do you show... Other places? Not at the present moment, no, but I have. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I sell the private collectors and, and whoever might be interested. Oh, yeah. excellent. Yeah. I don't have a website, so. No. <laughs> so I won't ask. Not that I'm anti technology, but. Oh. <laughs> so I no. better not ask. Uh, no. No, I won't. Yeah, Jim, maybe you could tell us about some of your role models in art and life in general? Well, when I first got interested in painting, it was the surrealists that did it for me. You know? But I was a teenage boy, and surrealism was cool because it had you know, all kinds of hallucinatory things happening and whatnot. My, my brother had a book on M.C. Escher. I don't know if you're familiar with him. I'm not. He was a Dutch artist, 20th century Dutch yes. artist, and he, he did all kinds of twisting of spaces, you know, the never-ending waterfall, you know, waterfall come down, come down, come down, come down, and then wind up back up top again, and stuff like that. That fascinated me. Mm -hmm. So I, I kind of use a lot of that, that space-shifting thing in my, in my pictures. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What Where you're going from one, you know, try to figure out the space. You know? Yes. Yeah. Do you feel like it's, like it lets let go of reality? Uh, well, the idea behind the Surrealists was to get to the subconscious. That was their whole goal, you know. Yeah. Desire Unbound was their goal. There was even a show called that once, actually, in, I think it was at MoMA. It was Surrealism, Desire Unbound. And I take it to another different level where it would be more transcending desire. Desire is a trap, you know, you get behind all that. Oh. Yeah. So it's kind of... Letting it's go become, of... It's metaphysical. Yes. As opposed to just subconscious. You know? Subconscious yeah. is just imaginary realm. We go one step above, above that one. Or try to, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, would you say you've lived your life like exploring reality and what the limits? What's beyond, beyond reality? What's behind it? Yeah. Yeah, that this is the goal. Yeah. yeah, could you not so much delving into my own subconscious, you know, yeah. which you know, I'm and just one guy. It's yeah. not that important. <laughs> so maybe you could give an example of your belief system or what what cosmology, what's... perhaps? My cosmology? Yeah. Well, in recent years, they have, we have now, you know, like science has changed. So, you know, science and religion, for instance, always been at odds with each other. You know, religion saying no, that this is what, how things were created, and science is saying no. But yeah. <clears throat> what's going on now is, if you read about it, is that that uh, they're coming, kind of coming together, because of quite quantum physics. They're starting to find things that are truly amazing. You know, uh. it doesn't make any you know, logical sense. Uh. You know, when they're getting down to the base of things and realize that everything is just energy. So their cosmology, well, their cosmology is that the universe is made of three things, which is energy, space, and consciousness. Anything can be fit into those three, and each one contains the other. So it's kind of a paradox. Uh. You know, if you get back, to, you know, to concrete reality, yeah. all, all there is is pent up energy, right? Yeah. In, in, in a space, which is a thing in itself, and you add consciousness, which is mind. And that is the whole essence of the whole thing. That's reality on any level. Oh, I see. Yeah. So that's, that's a, <laughs> a little egghead very, there, but, yeah. it's really deep, <coughs> deep idea. Not many people could really. I take a scientific approach to it. Yeah. Oh, do yeah. yeah. I'm not going to get into uh, religions and, you know, they're, they're different, yeah. you know, different things. It's purely uh, 
try to get at the essence of what it, things really are, are made out of. You know, it's basically just a big energy field. Yes. And we're all part of it. Yeah, so. So. It's an interesting yeah, to, act. To paint, to paint a thing, you're just coming up with an abstract equivalent on the canvas, right? Even, yeah. if, you, even if you're painting in a real realistic style, you still, when you're putting the brush onto the canvas, you mm -hmm. still have to come up with an abstract equivalent of the thing you're looking at, say, be it a ball of roses or whatever, yeah. right? Because right? it, it's not a ball of roses, it's, it's pigment smeared onto a canvas. Right. right. So you have to find some way to, to get that. So the borderline between the abstract and the real is it, unimportant. Mm -hmm. you know? Everything's just sort of made up of, of energy. I mean. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the other day we spoke about how people today, they don't deal with, they use their iPad, their, their i whatever, and take pictures. And the computer graphics? Yeah. Yeah, but see, that's just another tool. Yeah. yeah. And you didn't like that idea. Not, not is it, I don't like it. I just don't use it. Yes. You know, it's not my, my prerogative. I mean, my goal to have the images that look like that. Yes. Like, like photorealism painting, I don't really get because the camera does it so much better. So if I want that look of really sharp right. realism, I'll use a camera, you know, which right. then can, with you know, our technology now, you can do whatever you want with it. You, know, you can change the colors. You can, you, can, you can shape shift and do all kinds of things with it. That's just a tool. People that work with that, that's, you know, that's good. You know, I just, yeah. just, just, I don't use it. You know, oh. at, at this point in time, anyway. You know, yeah, <laughs> you know, exactly. Next week it might be something else, who knows. You know. Yes, I agree. Yeah. yeah, Jim, you know my program started as a show about disabilities mm -hmm. or people overcoming challenges. I know you've, you've worked with the disabled Mentally disabled, uh, or very you've, very little. Yes, yeah. but you've been e exposed to a teaching with RCPC. I did that once. Yes, yeah, taught a workshop there. Maybe yeah. you could explain which what really wasn't really RCPC. Is. That's uh, Rock and Psychiatric Center. Yes, yeah. and you and went there. Well, they have their uh, what do they call it? They have their uh, living museum, they call it, but they're basically, it's uh, they have an art studio there, and so the, the patients come in and they can work on whatever they want. They can paint a picture, draw. They have computers there, and they do workshops. They bring people in from the outside and they do a workshop. Yeah. So I've done one of those. Well, what you had, you in a way, you were not pleased with it. No, I was quite pleased with it. It's a very good thing. Oh, yeah. Yes. What I what I did was I overthought it. You know? Oh, yeah. 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 You know, I'm going to go in. You know, I had this whole lecture planned out in my head, and I never even got to say a word about it. And basically, what yes. what what it involved was just motivating, you know, getting people to try something, you know, giving them an idea. Yes. You know, so and, and go with it. I just set up still lifes and uh, and uh, let them work any way they really wanted on it. I tried to get them to just look at the whole picture. You know, right. You know, what people people do when they start out drawing is they take a piece of paper, say this big, and they have something in front of them. And and, and often a popular popular approach is to start in one corner and try to fill in all the details as you go. You know, and then it's going to fall apart very quickly. Right? Yeah. What you got to do is to get it all down at once very quickly. Where well, you going to put that there real quick? Get that over there. Get that over there. Get that over there. And then work out your details. And that's what I tried to get them to do. And then for a lot of them, it worked. Oh, yep. that's great. Yep. So maybe you'll go back and... <laughs> when they invite me back, which they said they would, I will, oh, I'll go back. Sure, why not? Yeah, it was a gas, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's RCPC. It's the Rockland County Psychiatric Rockland, Center. Yeah, Rockland, Rockland Psych. Yeah. And it's yeah. located... It's in Orangeburg. Oh, yeah, yeah, Orangeburg. Yeah. And I guess... It, they do some good good work there, and yeah. I've. Well, I, where they have the studio is a recovery center, they call it, and there they just get people ready to be released, so they learn computer skills and shit they're going to need on the outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
That's a great yeah. thing. Excellent. Or it being a very good, you know, I think a very good thing. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. So, Jim, maybe you could speak about Nyack, living in Nyack. <laughs> when did you come? Did you leave? Did you come back? And what's Nyack mean? Nyack. You want to talk about Nyack? Yeah. Well, I first came to Nyack in, I guess it was like 1980. So I was in my early 20s. And I've been coming and going since. Yeah. yeah. I so, left for a while and I came back. I was oh, gone for like 10 years. Really? I wound up moving back here again. <laughs> so you couldn't, you couldn't leave forever? Uh, well, I know a lot of people around here. So, yeah. so you, you tend to go where your people are, you know? So that's not At why you I left. No, it's not why I left, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you came back. I wasn't ridden out of town or oh, around. Oh. <laughs> that's a good thing. Yeah. And Nike is very down to earth and very loose. It's loose. I wouldn't say it's down to earth. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's back to earth, right? It's here. The store, back to earth. Back to earth, right? right. That's that way. <laughs> oh. Yeah. No, yeah. it's nice. It's no, it's the nicest town in, in, in Rockford County, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so would you recommend people, well, a lot of people do visit Nyack and a lot of, a lot of um, visitors come yep. weekends. We could use more just, galleries. Yeah, right. <laughs> yes, and you spoke a little about technology and art. Have you actually tried a little? You mean like, for instance, computers? With yeah. Graphic I've, art? I've toyed with it, yeah. Yes. yeah. Photography. When I learned photography, I went to school photography, it was back in the 80s, so it's it's all changed now. I learned old school photography. We use chem chemistry and you know black and white printing and, and whatnot, but it's all it's still the same thing. Oh. Yeah. That's the dark rooms change now. The dark rooms here, and you're in the computer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I never thought of that. That's yeah. But yeah, the dark room was always we a developed. room with chemicals in it and yeah. paper. And, and you know, you had to wash it. your hands and you know. And now. Now the computer is the dark room. Yeah. That's dark. Yeah. And you. So it's just another way of doing the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's. It's what's a better way, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. yeah. So, what would you call that? Progress. Evolution. Yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. Yep. Never heard of that. Not evolution. Yep. Evolution. Oh, well, evolution. Evolution. Oh. Is the way I pronounce it. Yeah, that's. Yeah, very I mean, good. we go back to the caveman. We went, you know, from a piece of charcoal on a cave wall to an image on a computer screen. Yeah. We're still doing the same thing. Oh, exactly. What's the motivation? Yeah. That's, right. that's the question. For me, yes. anyway. Yes. And so, anyone listening who'd like to, you know, check out your work, do you have anything on online or studios? I have my studio in Garneville, and I show there when they have shows. I'm in them. Yes. Yeah. And you're working on maybe showing on other art studios around New York? Yeah, I could use a gallery, that's what I could use. Yes. <laughs> you have a studio. I have a studio, Oh, yeah. you'd like a gallery. Yeah, well, my studio sometimes serves as a gallery when people come to it. Oh. <laughs> Which happens quite a lot, actually. Oh, yeah. yes. So. And you, if they wanted to find your studio, you're located at the... Garner Art Center. And yeah. is it's there... It's on Railroad a, Avenue in Garnerville, New York. And do you have an exact address? Like Building where, 9. <laughs> building 9. <laughs> so that's where you can find... That's where you can find me. Jim Winans. Right. 
Yes. Do you ever come ever work or like team up with individuals and show art? Sure. Group group shows. Oh. Yeah. But do you do that anywhere other than the carnival? I've done it over the years in a lot of different places. When I was living in Europe, I did you know certain things like that. Mostly, I sold to private collectors, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's great. Yeah, in Europe, it's different. People, ordinary people, buy art, buy original art in Europe more so than here. You know, there I sold to you know bartender, oh, like my, yeah. like my painting, so he bought it. You know, yes. here people think, oh, you only rich people collect art, and there it's a different attitude. <laughs> yes. They show it more freely, you know, it's it's more of a commonplace thing. So do you like that that atmosphere better or different? It's just different, that's all. Not better than the other. No? Yeah. Yes. So there's nothing of yours on the internet. The no, carnival at this art, present time. Yeah. The, the carnival art set. In Carnival, the studio, yeah. they don't show. They have they they have pictures online of which I'm in on their website. Yes. Yeah, I don't know exactly what they have on their site because I haven't looked at it in a while. But yeah. yes, yeah. so again, they have name. their photographers. Uh, Frank Vitali did a whole photo essay of the place, which I think they have on their, on oh, their site. Excellent. Yeah. Do you know when the next Gaga thing will be? Mm, no, but probably pretty soon because they just did one. They did the uh, Reimagine Garner show back in uh, back in October last month, and they've got other things in the fixings, I'm sure. But like I said, you could go to their site and find out. Yes, yeah. and offhand, you you only you know the name of the group, the Carnival Art. Center. GarnerArtCenter.org. Yes. So that's where you can find Jim Winings. Do you plan to leave Nyack anytime soon? No. No? Not tonight. No. Oh, <laughs> uh, no? So if anyone's looking no, I'm for not. you. Yeah, if anybody's tonight. looking for, you know, tonight, <laughs> they'll, they can find me in Nyack. No, I have no plans of moving anywhere at the moment. But who knows? Yeah, but Jim, I tend not to plan too far into the future. You could share <laughs> something I've I first met you at the local saloon, mm -hmm. O'Donoghue's <laughs> in Nyack. You're a famous bartender. Infamous. Infamous. <laughs> You've been at O'Donoghue's for how long? Fifteen years. Yes, right. and. I could tell you, Jim pours a, a, a great beer. <laughs> yeah, oh, Donahue's has great beers, but I'm sure you're well versed at other drinks. Yes. Yep. <laughs> and you could tell a joke. Is that right? Yeah, when the, when the, when the uh, situation arises. <laughs> and you definitely can listen to a sob story. Yes. Yes. I imagine I've shared a few stories with you. Nothing that I can years. remember off the top of my head, but I'm sure. Yeah. No. <laughs> yes. Well, Jim Winans, is there anything you'd like to add the last minute? Mm. Nope, I can't think of anything off the top of my noggin. No? No. Nope. Just, anybody's interested in painting? Paint. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you heard People who here. do it well are people who do it. Yes. Yeah. Say that again? People who do it well are people who do it. And people who do it might do it well. If you do it long enough, anybody can do it well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I want to that thank, goes for anything else, for that matter. I want to yeah. thank you, Jim, for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me. Dialogues with yeah. Dan. Bye, everyone. Have a great night. Everyone, have a good week. Peace.
It's not just radio, it's Rockland World Radio. Rockland World Radio.com. <laughs> <laughs> 